Welcome to our demonstration on how to add a vSphere host to an Active Directory domain. Joining a host to an Active Directory domain enables users to use Active Directory accounts to manage hosts, eliminating the need to create and maintain local user accounts. Let's begin by creating an ESX Admins group in Active Directory. We right-click on ESX Admins and go to Properties to add members of this group as vSphere administrators. Here we have Admin01 and Admin02. Note that the ESX Admins is the default group name. If we prefer to use a different group name, we can change it. To do this from the vSphere web client, we select the host, go to Manage, Settings, and Advanced System Settings. We set the filter to ESX Admins Group. And here we see the attribute to change the group name. For now, we just leave it to default ESX Admins. We are now ready to join our host to the domain. To demonstrate the effects on the host, we first connect to the host using the vSphere client. Enter the root username and password and log into the client. Here we see a warning message reminding us that this host is being managed from vCenter server. Click OK. We now select the server and click the Permissions tab. Here we see the default root user along with the DCUI and VPX user accounts. To join the host to the domain, we log into the vSphere web client, select vCenter server, and navigate to the list of vSphere hosts. Next, we select the host and click Manage, Settings, and then Authentication Services. Here we see the directory services type is currently set to Local Authentication. We click the Join Domain button to join it to the domain. We enter the domain name and provide the user credentials of the domain admin user account. This user must have the privileges to add computers to the domain. Click OK. We can monitor the progress in the Recent Tasks column. We see that the host is a member of the PML Active Directory domain. On returning to the vSphere client, we see that when the host was added to the domain, the ESX Admins Group account was created on the host and assigned admin privileges. To log in to the host using an Active Directory account, we connect to the host console. We press F2 to log in, and then provide the login name with the domain name, followed by backslash and the name of the Active Directory account. Here we'll use admin01 and then provide the password. We succeeded to log in, and we are able to administer the host from the DCUI using the Active Directory user account. We can also log in to the ESXi shell using our Active Directory accounts. Let's first enable the shell. Scroll down to the troubleshooting options, enable the ESXi shell, then press Alt-F1 to access the shell. Here we log into the shell using the Active Directory account. We see the login succeeded, and we are also able to administer the host from the ESXi shell using the Active Directory user account. Adding a vSphere host to the Active Directory domain eliminates the need to create and maintain local user accounts allowing us to leverage the benefit of a centralized user management system. This concludes our demonstration on how to add a vSphere host to an Active Directory domain. Thank you.